What's up, 10 Skill Squad? You read the title, you saw the thumbnail. Let's cut to the chase. This thing is awesome. This is the Volantix Atomic. I picked up this boat for a hundred bucks. I think grand total, the everything I spent, shipping and everything was like maybe $107. So there's a good chance that you've maybe seen this boat before. I know some other channels have had it as well, but I found this thing on Banggood for 107 bucks. Now it didn't come with a receiver or a transmitter, no battery, no charge or anything like that. But if you're an RC addict and you need some professional help, there's a good chance that you've got a receiver and a transmitter sitting around. Or maybe there's a transmitter that you really like to use that you can bind with multiple vehicles. And all you have to do is pick up a little receiver, throw it in here, bind it with your transmitter, throw a battery in it, and you're good to go. So the reviews on this thing have been pretty mixed. I've seen some videos where the water cooling piping hasn't been attached. They run it, the boat fills up with water, and it almost sinks. And let me tell you, that has not been my experience. RC is just like any other hobby. When you look for a budget option, you have to be pretty realistic about your expectations. So this thing has some big headlines, but there are some caveats as well. And today we're gonna look through all of them. So here is the Atomic. It's actually pretty big. This is a 112th scale vehicle. Uh, and as you can see, it fits on my 3D printed trailer pretty perfectly. If you guys are no stranger to the channel, you know that uh, this trailer actually broke. But as you can see, I've got this thing all put back together and I think the Atomic looks pretty cool sitting on this trailer. It fits really well. So right here, I've just got it uh, hooked up to the little 12 scale crawler that I built on the channel. Pretty cool, fun build. If you've never built anything before, this is really super easy to put together. I'll put a link to this in the, you know, over here. 
So looks alone, I mean, this is pretty standard stuff. It's a catamaran, it's got a plastic hull. Uh, the canopy opens with just this little doodle right here and bing, bam, pow, there we can get into the electronics. Let's take a closer look at what makes this thing tick. So here is our brushless motor. This is actually an Outrunner motor. And if we look on here, we can see that it's an 1800 kV brushless motor. All the way tucked back in there is our 40 amp marine uh, brushless ESC. And you can see that the ESC is water cooled. We've got our cooling tube that comes up from our pickup right here on our rudder, goes through the back of the hull into our ESC way back there, comes out the other side, and then actually runs through our motor cooler. Then it comes out of the motor cooler and comes out the through hole right there. And although it is just a 40 amp ESC, it is good for 3S. And there you can see I've actually got an ADC 3S in there. A big chunk is 5200 milliamp. The ESC comes with these XT60 connectors. I usually don't use XT60s, but whatever. That's what it came with, so I, bought, I actually bought a batteries just for this boat. Right here you can see I'm using the Red Cat receiver. That's actually a Fly Sky receiver. It just has Red Cat branding on it. And uh, they claim that these are waterproof, and I must say, they definitely are. Because as you'll see a little bit later, we filled this thing with water and uh, never lost signal, never had any radio issues at all. Looking around back, this is our drain plug. Uh, so if you get water in the boat, you can pull that drain plug out, drain water out of the boat without having to take off the canopy. Although the canopy is really easy to take on and off. All of our running gear is plastic. So we've got a plastic prop, uh, plastic stanchions, plastic rudder. So, I mean, you're going to have that with uh, budget boats. Service is really easy on this boat. You just take loose this uh, collet right here. The flex shaft pulls out. You grease your shaft and uh, throw it back in and you're ready to go. So boat maintenance can be kind of a pain in the butt, but this is really not bad. So how fast does it go? It's pretty quick, man. It is a ripper. We didn't put a GPS speedometer in this thing, but I think it's probably flat out. I think it's probably going to be right around 25 to 30 mile an hour. So the other day there was a storm rolling in on the river, but Ethan and I wanted to take this thing out and go ripping anyways. So we put a GoPro on the tracks of Spartan. We threw a battery in this thing. We took it out. We ripped them both and it was so much fun. We got a little rowdy and uh, yeah, I'd hate to say that everything was okay, but look at that. There you can see where either the prop of the Spartan or the rudder of the Spartan uh, just absolutely punched a hole in the hull of this thing. In fact, there's the rudder of the M41. The Spartan should be about the same and you can see it's kicked back a little bit. So, you know, it happens. That's a lot of damage. But that did not deter us from uh, continuing to play with this thing. Um, even after we saw that it was sinking and uh, we noticed that there was a hole in it. Luckily, the hole's at the front of the hull and that's usually riding up out of the water anyway. So we put it back in the water and just continued to rip on the thing. So most of that footage is uh, after we actually punched a hole in the hull of this thing. Not a big deal. It happens. You know, it's a, it is a plastic hull. It's not a fiberglass hull. It's not a carbon fiber or Kevlar hull, um, but you know, it, it, it'll, it'll, it'll buff out. No, in all honesty, um, we're going to use a little bit of two part epoxy on this. Make sure that that hole is good and filled, sand it back down and then paint it. Some of the stickers, you know, got a little banged up. Um, I've actually seen pictures of this thing without the stickers and I think it, it looks pretty cool. Uh, just all in whatever color this is. So who knows, maybe we'll, maybe after we repair the hull, we'll pull the stickers off of it and paint it, I don't know, paint it some other color or maybe even put like a 10 scale garage livery on it. Who knows, but for a hundred bucks plus just a few bucks for a receiver, depending on what kind of transmitter you want to use. I mean, you really can't beat it. You can buy these ready to run, but I think the price is right around like 250 bucks. So it's definitely cheaper, no matter how you really slice it, to buy this version and 
put your own electronics in it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If this is your first time checking out the channel, welcome. I'm glad you found it. We like to do RC shenanigans like this all the time. We've got some epic stuff coming up. Not just bulk stuff. We got other stuff coming up. It, it, it's going to be a good time. You're going to want to stick around. Just hit the, you know, the little doodle down there. It's free. And uh, I'll be seeing you later. We're out here. We're out here. Chopping tracks is the last. Chopping. We'll see you.